Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out the episode today for our big announcement. I'm so glad you all tuned in to hear what I have to say. So first and foremost, as you can see, I am mostly on the platform of social media with YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. I am in TikTok now as well. Uh, it's been very interesting over there. I just basically like to post and uh, come off of there for the most part. But as you can see, with these different social media platforms, there are difficult times that come for creators like me because I speak about conservative concepts. I speak about Christianity. Um, I speak about things that go against what the culture is seeing as the norm today. With that, we see that there have been other platforms that have arisen, like The Daily Wire. They have Ben Shapiro, Michael Knowles, and of course, Jordan Peterson, as well as Candace Owens. And platforms like that allow conservatives a area, a place where they can have their video podcasts, they can have their blogs, they can have their writings and all of that. And they won't have to be concerned with being shadow banned or censored or not be a part of the algorithm. Uh, once you reach a certain amount of views and all of a sudden it's like kaput. What happened? My video is no longer showing on the algorithm. My short is no longer circulating uh, on the shorts pages and on the reels pages because of the things that I have said that go against the culture. So guys, my big announcement is that I am moving a good amount of my content over to Rumble. Yes, so Rumble has become a public entity now. They have gone public just like how YouTube is, but now they are a direct competitor to YouTube and it is awesome. So before with Rumble, you could have the option of linking your YouTube to upload to Rumble, but now they see what YouTube has been doing. If you do that, YouTube has decided to take it upon themselves and go ahead and shadow ban you. Yes, because they know that Rumble is far right, right wing, again, everything that they do not stand for. So what's been happening is if you are linked to Rumble through your YouTube, YouTube goes ahead and shadow bans you. So I'm not about that. I'm not down for that. It's not cool. Um, so guys, I am moving a good amount of my content to Rumble. And I'm so elated and happy to see some of these articles that have come out from the CEO talking all about why he created the platform and what the platform is for. So right here, um, he has said, his name is Chris. I cannot say his last name. Chris Pavlovsky. I really hope I did not butcher that. I apologize if I did. So right here it says, we are Rumble. We are for people with something to say and something to share who believe in authentic expression and want to control the value of their own creation. We create technologies that are immune to cancel culture because everyone benefits when we have access to more ideas, diverse opinions, and dialogue. He has also said that the transaction that they, they did to become public uh, has allowed Rumble to fund a wide range of business initiatives, including development of our independent infrastructure, while we continue to add top creators to our platforms. He said he's extremely excited to report that despite current market conditions, they have retained nearly all the cash in trust with nearly zero redemption from C. FVI shareholders. This is truly a vote of confidence in our mission and platform, and he looks forward to further delivering for all our constituents going forward. And I am so happy to say that I will be one of those constituents because, guys, it has been quite the uphill battle with regard to YouTube and other social media platforms. Um, in just trying to get on their algorithm and uh, trying to get ahead and getting the content out there. It's like it gets out there for a certain amount of time and then all of a sudden it just stops and it's like dead in the water and you can't see it anymore. 
it's just getting real crazy. Even though I have the one short that's still continuing to circulate very well on all of my social medias across the board, when I upload new content, uh, it kind of seems to uh, go, 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 and then no, no, no. So <laughs> moving over to Rumble is going to be very exciting. Now, when I say that, I also am going to be adding an incentive for you guys. When you move over to my Rumble account, not only will you see what I upload to YouTube each week on Friday, but I will also be adding more exclusive content over there that I will feel more comfortable to post over there than I do on YouTube. Of course, I'm going to keep it controversial. I'm going to keep it 100 as I always do each and every week with you guys, but Rumble will have a bit more and I will have more to say over there. Now, Another reason of me moving over there is being able to share a platform with some pretty big heavy hitters. And it seems that one heavy hitter who I already met, I already spoke to him, I already talked to him. Um, he is an amazing man. Uh, he loves the Lord. He loves his country. Um, he is partnering now specifically with Rumble for his uh, platform and podcast and show and uh, his name is Graham Allen, and I want to give a plug to him right now because he was so gracious and humble to me when I met him uh, last year uh, at a church event that I went to down in Charlotte. So guys, just give us a second here while I'm going to go ahead and show you a new feature that we have here on the show where you can now see the entire clip that I'm going to play when before I couldn't play the clips, right? So get ready to officially announce my candidacy for United States Congress. For United States Congress. The truth is, when my run for Congress didn't go the way we wanted it to, and I officially dropped out of the race, myself along with apparently everybody else thought, well, this is it. He's washed up, time's over, plow, there's nothing else left in the tank. Friends that I thought I had weren't calling. Allies I thought I had weren't picking up the phone when I called them. Sponsors were dropping off. Employees were having to be let go. And I couldn't even be asked to speak at events anymore. It really felt like this was the end. And to be honest, it put me in a place so dark that I never really thought that I would ever get out of it. But then, something miraculous started happening. You, the people, started coming back to us. You, the people, reminded me of why I started doing this in the first place. It wasn't for fame, it wasn't for glory, it definitely wasn't for the money. It was to be your voice, to be the guy. For those who can't, I will say it for you. Needless to say, rumors of my demise have been highly exaggerated. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. Everybody stay calm. This time we are coming at it bigger, better, faster, stronger than ever before. We are telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. However, we had to partner with an organization that believes in the same things we do that won't censor and won't cancel us. That's why Dear America is partnering with these guys. Everyone should have an option to go see what the other side is saying, whether you agree Do you with have it. a thought that maybe Google would buy you as it did YouTube? That was never a thought. It was always, the, the, the bigger thought in my head was always, I wanna, I wanna get back and kick And this time, we are coming for everything. We are coming for everyone. No more political games, just the truth. We don't care who that upsets. We don't care the elites that don't want you to hear it. Our responsibility is to you. We are coming bigger, better, stronger than ever before for you, the people. We're back. So guys, as you can see, <laughs> Graham is very excited uh, to be joining Rumble, as am I. So 
you can now go and see my channel here on Rumble. Pull it up here for you guys. There it is. First video is there for you guys. I'm gonna make it look a little more fancy. I'm gonna get into it and uh, get going on some edits and things like that. But yes, guys, I am so <laughs> excited to be sharing this kind of platform with like-minded people and having the assurance that my voice is not gonna be silenced. Because as Graham said, it's time to speak truth and be about truth. And that's what they don't like. They don't like the truth. They don't wanna hear the truth and that's why they're trying to censor us. So to be a part of Rumble is to be a part of something that is bigger, that is positive, and that is going in the right direction for us, the people, for our country. And uh, in my case, for the Lord, because I wanna be able to speak truth and love, speaking of the Bible, scripture, and keeping it 100 that way. So I hope you guys will go ahead and join me on Rumble. I can't wait to post over there plenty of content, more than what I'm doing on YouTube, and we'll see how it goes. So we will see you guys next week for a full episode of Letters to the People. But for now, until I see you again, blessings and best regards with Keith the Bobbish a voice who is now on Rumble.